Eli, what are you doing? How did that happen? <laughs> wow. Uh, poor Eli's been getting his butt handed to him yeah. <laughs> along with Ken. I've got Ken and his son Chad on the boat. Chad's from uh, Van or Washington. But we just started fishing. Of course, I picked a random spot on the Navionics Relief Shading and said we're going here. We get here, we get set up on a ledge, and it's been mayhem since we've gotten here. We've got broke off, I don't know, six times, seven times. We would have caught, we would have had a keeper group, uh, red grouper in the boat. We know that there's gags down there. So we're just gonna keep working and see what we can do. Despite the shark being here, despite us breaking off 150,000 times, the bite is still crazy. We're catching them on everything from huggy jigs to uh, stewie jigs to slackers. Catching them on live bait, dead bait. Doesn't matter. Pinfish seem to get the bigger fish, but I just lost one on a dead bait. Oh yeah, it was pretty good. There's these fish, we can't stop them. We just We've even jumped up to 80 pound and we can't get hit. But as soon as we jump back down to 40, we'll get hit. I'm using 20 of course, but... But yeah, they, they won't touch an 80, 80 pound leader at all right now. It's crazy. Of course, I'm going light with the slacker. Love using the slacker. Just gotta have patience. Oh. Is it? Nope, red. No. Yep, there he got eaten. He's coming back for more. Here he comes. That was a keeper gag too, Eli. I told you that shark's discriminating. Won't eat the red grouper, but it'll eat the gag. You don't like them? Uh. Now we stopped getting broken off and now we're just getting eaten off. <laughs> Ken, what were you saying? You were using what? I said I finally switched to a 10 pound braid and 20 pound coil garbage. And look at you. He stonewalled you there for a minute. That's a nice snapper. Not bad. Not bad. Edible. Okay, Eli just put it the biggest yellowtail snapper I've ever seen from the golf. Ever seen, period. We don't catch a lot of them here. But Eva, we were fishing in 55 and we. We, we, oh, we caught some. We caught some fish. We lost a lot of fish, and he was Eli was like, "Man, let's go out to this spot that I found this last weekend." He goes, "I'm gonna be mad if you if you already have it marked." And I said, "Well, don't be mad because I probably already have it marked." Well, yellowtail. another yellowtail. There you go, it's smaller about, one. About three there you go. Oh, he took it. So anyway, 
So we're coming to the spot and I see that I have some numbers around it, but they're not numbers that I put in my machine. It, they were gifted to me. So I have never fished out here before. And Eli was all excited. He was like, yeah, all right, all right. Finally, something so new. So we, we get to the spot, we get set up and I wasn't set up right. I was about 25 feet off and then we didn't even get a hit. So I moved, what was that? Right there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, that is. Yeah. So I moved and found the, the the fish, and boom, we started on. Well, it is. It does show up on the Navionics relief shading, and it's a long, long ledge. But we got on the fish, and uh, my first fish was a mangrove. His was a yellowtail. We just caught another yellowtail. Caught another mangrove. So we'll see what happens. But Eli came through. Big fish. Big fish, Eli. Big, fish. Big yellow tail. Big yellow tail. So let's get back to fishing. Quit talking. Fish more fishing. Fish more, catch more. Well, folks, that's my second mutton I've ever caught. The first one was a dinky one, and that was at the mouth of Tampa Bay, but. Man, we're catching yellowtails, mangrove snapper, mutton snapper. That's nuts, man. And I gotta thank Eli for the spot. This is gonna be called Eli's spot. That's right. That's a beautiful spot. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Woohoo! In the box you go, boy. I put my mushroom hang out on the roof. Yeah, I would too. We were down there last time I was down there, it was pretty windy. So we just, I just stationed up at the seven mile bridge and just started chumming like oh, a feeding truck. I told you there was one down there. 